Alright guys, what is up? It's me, David Badil Tech, and today we are back with another video. So anyway, so guys, I was recently watching um, uh, one of Nortro Dan's videos about installing Windows XP, I mean, installing Minecraft on a Windows XP laptop, and I was wondering to myself, hey, I could do that. Alright, but anyway, so guys, this is not, like, a copy of that, okay? You wanna know why? Because look, if you notice on Nortro Dan's videos, you can see there's stickers here that let you know what version of Windows it was designed for. It, if you notice, um, if you noticed, it was designed for Windows Vista, not XP, the, the Dell Lab 2. But this, this is definitely designed for Windows XP. Not only that, but um, uh, it actually came out in the early XP era. So, you know, it's not like, not like, you know, like in 2006. This is from 2002. Go and watch it boot up gloriously. Alright, anyway, so guys, I did try and get Need for Speed under, un, Underground to launch, but it just couldn't launch because couldn't find my discs for some reason, which is definitely a bit strange. But anyway, so guys, so look, I figured out the problem, okay? That kernel 32 error that I was getting in the last video is because it was, um, uh, oh yeah, I also got fraps to work, by the way. But look here, it was because we were on Service Pack 1, Windows XP Service Pack 1. And we need at least Service Pack 2 to get things up and running. So I installed Service Pack 3. So yeah, I managed to get Java installed correctly. I I did all of this off camera, by the way. Because I don't think you guys would be... Because it took literally forever. Like, two hours to install Service Pack 3. So yeah, it was quite a while. But anyway, so yeah, GPU-Z also launches. Alright. Yeah, apparently you have to get an old version of it. Oh yeah, and also, um, uh, this mouse works for some reason, so, um, uh, yeah, I'm not complaining about that, but yeah, anyways, it still says it only di supports DirectX 6, but it works with DirectX 7 games, so yeah, but this is an official driver from Dell, okay, so it works perfectly fine. As you can see here, it's got a 64-bit bus width, DDR memory, uh, yes, this thing definitely is gonna be fast, but yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and, um, uh, pull up the specs here okay anyway so guys this D Dell laptop features Intel extreme graphics too ah yes the performance of Intel integrated extreme graphics and it has a 2 gigahertz Intel Celeron Northwood processor it's also got um, uh, 1 gigabyte of DDR RAM and um, uh, like a 30 gigabyte IDE hard drive so yeah not great but it's not the worst. I mean, you can... It's standard XP era stuff, you know? But, alright, okay, anyways. Um, uh, so... We are going to... I th So, look here, we want to get Minecraft running, right? So, mul so Multi-MC. Um, I was launched at Notre Dame News. And, I th and it works perfectly fine. It's just that it doesn't work. Um, uh, sometimes, because you have... It didn't work originally, because you have to have updates, certificates, okay? So, you know, you can, like, actually, like, install, like, you know, the apps will actually, like, let, connect to the internet. But, yeah, anyway, so, yeah, basically, guys, here's the steps I did, okay? First step was, um, uh, I installed Windows XP Service Pack 3. Make sure you do that, okay? Service Pack 1 does not work. Surf Service Pack 2 might work, but Service Pack 3, just install that one for extra compatibility. Oh, and by the way, my pal works. So, yeah, we can, um, uh, watch YouTube on this thing. I actually did try it off camera and it, it gets like it's it's the worst thing you've ever seen it's like so slow but yeah we will definitely show show it off um uh, at the end of this video and so uh yeah it i mean it guess i guess it it works anyway so look here we're gonna try and get multi mc running here so yeah i did actually download mine a couple versions of minecraft off camera just to test them out to make sure they work and well, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Let's just see. 
All right, but anyway, so yeah, multi MC does in fact open. Um, uh, Java 8 update 51 was the last version that supports it. Anyway, so yeah, guys, Minecraft 1.7.2 does not work as outdated OpenGL drivers, so let's try Minecraft 1.6.4. Okay. Alright, let's go and open up Task Manager here. I know Task Manager does kind of take up some resources, but look here, we want to see here. Alright, let's see how long it's going to take for Minecraft to launch. Alright, so far... Well, actually, I think I should press this. So far, nothing's going on. Oh! Oh! Hey, it's working! Mojang! Let's go! Alright, but anyways, Fraps is working, so I will retest Quake 3, Half-Life, and Need for Speed. Uh, it doesn't work. Alright. But yeah, anyways, this is actually running horribly. Wow, that is that is not good at frame rate. <laughs> Alright, let's go into quickly. Oh yeah, I already set the video settings. So yeah, these are video settings. Basically, the lowest possible ones, okay? And Optifine 1.6.4 is no longer available for downloads. So yeah, that is a bummer. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. Actually, you know what? I think we should create a super flat world. Because there's no way this is going to actually like do it. World type. Super flat. And let's make it... Um, uh, let's go and delete it here. Which one is that? Backspace? Oh, you just press remove layer. Alright, let's just make it a bedrock world. With no... You know what? Yes, the structures. Um, uh, no structures, actually. Let's go ahead and make it a creative world. Because we... Because that's the only way we can play in a bedrock flat plane. But anyways, let's wait for it to load here. So it takes quite a bit of time to load, okay? It is not fast. Like, holy crap, it is slow. But then again, what am I expecting? Uh, <laughs> wow, it's actually using... Oh, yeah, by the way, this... Yeah, it's not going to run well. I mean, one core, a one-thread processor... And one gigabyte of RAM is not going to do well. But let's see how well it does. It is taking quite a bit of time to load here. So I'll get back to you when it's finished loading. Would you look at that? No way. Wait, we're getting. We're actually getting 20 at 30. Oh, oh wow. Those are some massive stutters. But hey, we're actually getting a frame rate. Like, holy crap. I, actually, I tried this in a jungle world. And I spawned in a jungle world. And it was getting one frame every few minutes. But yeah, this is just Minecraft 1.6.4, and on a bedrock super flat world, it's getting 30 FPS. Wait, I wonder. Let's shrink the window down, like, to abysmally small levels. Come on. Oh, yeah, that is... Back to game. Holy crap, we're getting almost 60 FPS here. Oh, oh, we're still getting stutters, but look at that. We're almost getting 60 FPS. Let's go and look in the sky. <gasps> Alright, let's see if we can get a hundred on this old laptop. Alright, okay. Let's go and look all the way up. Oh, I saw a hundred. I saw a hundred. Oh, a hundred. A hundred. hundred and five, I think, is the best we're able to get. No way. Yo, this is actually working. I am surprised. 120. 120. Wait, wait. F1. 150. Come on, 160? No way. This is actually running much better than I thought it would. We're getting around 150. 160. I saw 160 there. No way. Yo, this thing is actually... This is actually insane. All right, but anyways, guys, we can't play Minecraft like this, so... Let's go... I think we have to keep it in the small window, but... Let's get back to the main menu. Oh, wow, that is um, uh, corruption right there. Let's go ahead and create an actual world. Um, uh, more world options. Uh-oh. No, I just clicked on create world. You know what? It's fine. It is fine. Alright, we're also going to try out these other versions. Minecraft 1.7 does not work. 1.6.2. Well, I mean, alpha 1.2.6 works. And so does this. I'll just tell you guys. But yeah. But yeah, th that actually was, was not half bad. Like, in the tiny window... Like, we were getting 160 FPS there. Not bad for a one-core, 23-year-old laptop. 
that is running Windows XP. <laughs> oh yeah, also guys, um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll link below, like, the link to the certificates, um, uh, like the update certificates, and I'll also link the instruction vid, the instructions, okay? It's a GitHub page, so, uh, yeah. Alright, let's see here, it should load. Oh, and also guys, I activated this copy of Windows XP, I'll, I'll, um, uh, post a link in the description on how to activate Windows XP in 2025 without, like, using, like, the telephone method. It's very easy, actually, it's just stuff with the registry editor. Alright, it is frozen here, I'll let you know when it actually loads in. Uh, guys, so I'm back, and I think it crashed. It doesn't say it's not responding, but I think it's just corrupted itself, so yeah, let's go ahead and, um, uh, yeah, and now. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, that's a very interesting. Oh. Yeah, it definitely crashed. Alright, so no actual Minecraft world. You're gonna have to play a super flat world <laughs> if you want to actually have an enjoyable time. Well, super flat world being enjoyable is. Uh, it's arguable. <laughs> let's say that. Alright, anyways, let's open up Task Manager here. This is not closing. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Wait, I forget to mention. Apparently, dragging windows and window Dragging the windows around in this version of Windows will spike the CPU to 100%. Like, look. Dragging around Task Manager, it spikes up. Yeah, it's definitely... Oh, wow. It's using half of our VRAM. I mean, our RAM, rather. Uh, warning. Terminating process? Yes. All right. So yeah, actually Windows XP doesn't use that much RAM on idle, which is pretty nice compared to Windows 11, especially on that Athlon X2 laptop. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think MultiMC also crashed. Please don't crash MultiMC, please. Oh, oh no. What did I do? Do I just restart it? Yeah, let's go ahead and just, uh, yeah. Alright. Let's shut down MultiMC here. MultiMC.exe. Yeah, let's go ahead and just shut down. I'm going to quickly bring over my mouse. Sorry if my finger's in the way. End process. Oh, it's already ended. Alright, let's go ahead and restart MultiMC here. Alright, but anyway, so like your next version we're going to try is Minecraft Alpha, okay? Let's wait for it to launch. Minecraft, you chose to end an unres un the non-responsive program. Don't send. I don't even have internet. Come on, just load into it, goddammit. Alright, okay. Minecraft Alpha. Okay. Let's wait for it to launch here. Alright. Okay. Hmm. That's not a good sign. Come on. You launching? Oh! Right as I pull up the task manager. Alright. Okay. Mojang? I oh, yeah, the ancient Mojang logo. Alright, but this should run better than Minecraft 1.6 considering it's like old. Like, this version is so old. Well, actually, you know what? This laptop is actually still older than Minecraft itself. Alright, let's go ahead and see what the video is saying. Alright, basically the lowest. Got it. Single player. I'm not sure why I have a World 1. You know what? Let's go and play it. Okay, it's loading in. Oh, we're getting... Oh, oh, this is horrible frame rate. But, I mean, it's kind of playable. We're getting almost... Oh, we're getting... We're actually... We're getting around 20 FPS, as long as you're not generating in any chunks. But, hey, this is better than I thought it would do. Like, holy crap. This is actually decent. I, I can fully play this. Oh, oh, okay, maybe that, that, oh, yeah, in the middle of a creeper fight, eh, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna die if you generate any chunks, but yeah, this is actually, like, better than I thought would do, 
Not half bad. Dellen Spron 1100. Not half bad. Alright, let's go ahead and quit here. Alright, okay, anyway, so guys, let's go ahead and retest Quake 3 and Half-Life. But not only that, guess what also works? Classic Cube. Oh, uh, yeah. Classic Cube actually launches, so apparently you, na you need to have Service Pack 3 installed, which is quite confusing. But yeah, as you can see here, we are getting 30 FPS. Wait, let's go ahead. This is... Hey, we're actually getting... We're getting 60 here. Almost 70 FPS, so yeah, this does run better than Windows 7 does. Alright, let's go ahead and shrink the window down here, because we want maximum frame rate, baby. Oh yeah, 300! You know what? You remember that Windows Vista laptop? We never, we never gave that much of a chance, right? Let's go ahead and see here. Alright, okay, so look here, guys. 10 likes on this video. And I'll retest the Windows Vista laptop with Classic Cube. <gasps> Five! Okay, you know what? We can shrink this window down even more. Um, nope. Come on, let's... No! Let's minimize this. Oh, there you go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 500! Wait, wait, we can... Let's shrink the window down. So much that Minecraft is, like, barely even readable. Holy crap, that's 1,000! 1,000 frames per second. In, sure, it's not technically Minecraft, but in, um, in Classic Cube. Like, that's close enough, okay? Alright, come on, we can, okay, that's as little... Alright, we can barely- there's no frame rate counter, shoot. Okay, we, sh we need the frame rate counter. So, we gotta increase its size. No, we- where's the frame rate counter? I shrunk the window down so Okay, there you go, let's see. Nope. Alright, that's the smallest window we can get. And holy crap, we are getting 1,000 frames per second. Hell yeah. 1,020. Holy crap, this, this laptop is actually doing really well. Like, holy. I, I was shocked that this even works. Let's go on full screen, though. Alright, okay. So, let's go ahead and fall down here. Where the heck am I? Alright, okay, so if you're, like, actually wanting to play the game... You're going to get a reasonable 30 to 20 to 30 FPS. This is really usable. Like, holy. We got 1,000 FPS, but you know what? That's not enough. We can generate a new level. To be 1 by 2. So, you know, we can actually fit in it. Actually, you know what? I think we want it to be 1 by 128. Flatgrass. Alright, so we are in a one by one by one world. Let's quickly get out of full screen here. Okay. So, this sh hopefully should perform a little bit better. Oh, yep, the texture is corrupted. But, we're getting 11, 1,200 FPS. Holy crap! This laptop is a beast. 1,200 FPS. That is... That is pretty darn good. Alright. But yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Dell and Spron 1100 from 2002. Not bad at all. Alright guys. I guess that's the end of the video. Make sure you subscribe, okay? And also go check out my main channel. And also post your 100 sub Q&A questions um, in my 100 sub special on my main channel, okay? Alright, subscribe!